All right, I just bought myself this small Westinghouse uh, inverter generator um, with a surge wattage of 2,200 and uh, running watts is 1,800, which is just at 15 amps. So basically, this can run continuously 15 amps at 120 volts. So basically, a household plug. Um, I've been looking at my meter and Essentially, based on just running my 120 volts, I've seen no more than 2,000 watts, basically 2.0 kilowatts. You should be able to see that. should clear up. You'll see 0.6 of a kilowatt. So it's 600 watts right there. Um, running two refrigerators, uh, running lights, and whatever might be running. I mean, I'm not microwaving, I'm not using a coffee machine or a toaster, but essentially just using the essentials like lights, ceiling fans, refrigerators, you know, what you would need in an emergency, I think this uh, little generator will do it. Uh, I would just have to monitor what I'm doing, uh, what I'm pulling as a load. And I uh, decided I'm gonna do that with this little plug-in uh, meter. Uh, it's got nothing on it right now because there's no power running into it but i'm gonna fire up the generator and uh, what i'm gonna be doing is just checking to see what kind of a load i get uh with the two refrigerators and i'm gonna go inside and turn on all the ceiling fans all the lights in the house uh not all at once i'm gonna do that little by little and i'll come outside every time and check to see what the meter says uh, cause I don't want, I don't want to overload the generator or, or uh, the cables. Uh, as far as cables are concerned, um, the only, uh, weak link, if you want to call it that, is probably this meter and this, uh, short length of cable between the meter and the generator. Uh, I think it's so short that it's not really significant, but I think that's like a 14 gauge cable. Um, but after that, that's a 10 gauge, uh, adapter that I found online, uh, really uh, unique and useful adapter uh, because essentially it converts 110 to a 30 amp twist lock okay I'll uh, go ahead and disconnect that. so that's disconnected now so that's a 30 amp twist lock connects to that 30 amp twist lock and then this is uh, another adapter uh, with a 10 gauge wire on it. This con converts from my 50 amp uh, wire, sorry, 50 amp uh, generator cord. That 50 amp gener generator cord is actually only about uh, 15 feet long and it is a six gauge wire. Um, and it connects to my 50 amp inlet, which then connects to my, uh, transfer box so I've got a manual transfer switch here allows me to switch off my 200 amp main so I don't have uh, any back feed or anything like that and that's my generator uh, switch essentially that allows me to go from the grid to generator if I lose power so today I'm going to simulate as if I'm losing power and I want to power just my essentials with this small 2000 watt generator and hopefully that'll be sufficient to get by uh, for a short term. I do have a larger generator that's 7500 watts uh, that has a 50 amp that's why I ended up doing all this and buying this 50 amp connected connection uh, that can run most of my house and either of these two air conditioning units uh, not simultaneously one by one so essentially uh, it's a two-story house and so the larger three ton unit is for the downstairs and the smaller two and a half ton is for the upstairs which is where all the bedrooms are so upstairs where we were able to run it uh after irma um at night to cool the bedrooms down and then downstairs we'd cool it during the day so we'd be comfortable during the day um that larger generator was actually powering pretty much everything uh with that ac running we ran two refrigerators full-size refrigerators inside the house we also connected an extension cord probably 200 feet across uh, to this neighbor's house and ran his full-size kitchen refrigerator as well as a large fan 
Uh, we did that for six days on a 7,500 watt generator that has a 50 amp outlet. And uh, it was really impressive to be able to run for six days straight. Um, since we had no power after Irma, uh, we were quite comfortable over here. We also um, took time uh, in the day, maybe four hours a day, uh, we would shut down the AC completely and run the pool pump. Uh, so we were able to get the pool uh, nice and clean and sparkling blue uh, right the day after Irma. So that was really convenient. Um, all of this on a portable generator. Uh, mind you, every house is different. Everybody's wiring is different. We have brand new updated wiring. So that's what we we're able to accomplish that. So I'm gonna fire this thing up and see how the transfer goes.